there are many applications such as radioactive decay, exponential growth of population, or com continuously compounded interest, which are all of the cases in which the rate of change of y with respect to time is proportional to the value of y. And in this video, and we're going to attempt to solve this differential equation using separation of variables. Let's start by dividing both sides by y. And we're going to get 1 over y times dy dt is equal to k. Now we're going to treat dy dt, we're going to treat this part like a fraction and multiply by t, uh, multiply by dt. If we multiply by dt on the left side, dt is going to be dt is going to disappear, and we're going to be left to 1 over y dy, and we're going to have k dt on the left side. And now we're going to integrate this, integrate 1 over y dy, and integrate k dt. And let's see what we get. 1 over y dy, well that's natural log of absolute value of y, integral of k dt, well that's kt, plus some constant, let's call this this of 1, and now we're going to exponentiate both sides by base of e. So we're going to have e to the natural log of absolute value of y is equal to e to the kt power plus c sub 1. And let's try to simplify this. e to the natural log of absolute value of y, if we plug something into the natural log function and raise that natural log of something to e, we're going to have that something. We're going to have absolute value of y is equal to e to the kt plus c sub 1. Well, e to the a plus b is equal to e to the a times e to the b. So let's try to separate this. e to the kt power plus c sub 1 is going to be equal to e to the c sub 1 times e to the kt power. And now, since we have absolute value of y, we know y is equal to plus or minus e to the c sub 1 times e to the kt. Well, let's say plus or minus e to the c sub 1, let's, that's just going to be some constant, since c sub 1 is constant and e is a constant, plus or minus e to the c sub 1 is going to be constant, so let's call that a c, and let's write whatever we have, e to the kt power, and we're done. y is equal to c times e to the kt power. It's a natural exponential function. And we have proven that it is the solution of the differential equation y prime or dy dt is equal to ky.